it's Mrs. Burlingame here and I'm excited to tell you guys about a summer drawing challenge. And I know some of you are going to say this summer I'm bored and I have nothing to do. If you say that, that means you have time to draw. So you should have received in your Friday folder or sometime during the last week of school a paper like this. And on this piece of paper, there are 25 different ideas of things that you guys can practice drawing over the summer. So here's how this is going to work. So if you want to participate in the summer drawing challenge, you need a couple of things. First is um, some kind of a folder. It doesn't have to be fancy or it can be fancy. It doesn't matter. A folder. Okay. You're going to need 25 sheets of plain white computer paper. This is not even fancy drawing paper, it's just regular eight and a half by 11 copy paper, okay? You're gonna want a pencil and a really good eraser and maybe a Sharpie, a black one. You don't need any crayons, you don't need any paint, nothing. It's all about drawing, okay? So what you're gonna do with your folder and your paper and your 25 drawing ideas is over the summer at some point you don't even have to do these like every single day you can start one you know on a Monday and maybe you want to finish the same one on a, on Tuesday or Wednesday it doesn't matter you don't have to do them all back to back as long as you get all 25 done by the end of summer okay so what you're gonna do is these are all numbered so this is number one here and it says favorite summer activity so you would draw out on one of your 25 pieces of paper your favorite summer activity okay I would, this is my suggestion, is start your drawing in pencil first. That way you can erase it. Um, if you make a mistake, um, start with pencil, okay? If you wanna go a step further and you want to really make your drawing stand out, you could go over your pencil lines with a black Sharpie, okay? And again, we don't wanna color these. We just want them to be black and white or like a, a basic pencil drawing, okay? So over the summer, you're gonna draw all 25 of your ideas for the summer challenge. You're gonna keep track of them inside your folder. And when it's time to start school again in August, you're gonna bring this folder with your 25 drawings in it back to me the first week of school. Anybody who finishes all 25 drawings, and this is for kids that are going to be in first grade through sixth grade, um, can participate. You're gonna bring back your folder with all 25 of your drawings in it and I'm going to flip through these and the fun part about this is not only you're going to get some extra credit points for participating in art but you're also going to get a special prize it's a secret still for participating and I'm going to choose one person who has the best drawing for day 24 so day 24 is art supplies you're supposed to draw art supplies on day 24 so I'm going to choose the best drawing, um, or my favorite drawing, of art supplies for day 24. And what we're going to do with that drawing is that we're going to turn it into a t-shirt design. And the winner will get a, their own t-shirt that has their drawing on it. And then all your friends at school will also have a chance to buy the t-shirt that has your drawing on it. And the fun part about that is, is make a great t-shirt for like art class. You guys who always wear like an art smock in art class. You have a cool shirt that has your drawing on it and any of the extra money that we have um, left over from the t-shirt sales we might be able to buy some really cool art pro um, art projects or have some cool people come in and talk to us who are like artists in the area um, or maybe get some extra really cool art supplies that we could maybe experiment with this year so it's gonna be a really fun way to keep up your creativity this summer and give us a chance to um, have some fun t-shirts and have a little um, challenge a little competition so I hope you guys will want to participate over the summer. I'm also going to be um, doing this along with you guys. And I'm going to post some videos, kind of like this one, um, of just some ideas and of some things that I've been doing with the drawing. Um, maybe give you some helpful tips and some how-to videos on some of these that maybe are a little bit more difficult, the ways that you can draw some of these things. And um, it's just going to be a lot of fun. So I hope you guys will join in for the summer drawing challenge okay you guys have a great summer